Hi and welcome to Wrong Way and today we are going to talk about electric unicycles and what wheel is perfect for you. And in fact this will become a bit of a series where I can also guide you uh, to all the ins and outs of electric unicycles, of riding an electric unicycle and so on. So I've come up with a name, this will be Wrong Way's Guide to Electric Unicycles. I know, so insightful. <laughs> so in short, WWGT EUC. Let me tell you more about it. WWGT EUC. Wrong Way's Guide to Electric Unicycles. For most of the wheels I will be talking about in this video, I have a full review on the channel, link below. Uh, all the videos are in the description. But before we jump to all the in and but before we jump into all the specifics of electric unicycles, I wanted to tell you also my story, how I started um, riding an electric unicycle. So first of all, the first time I saw an electric unicycle was in my hometown, Warsaw, Poland. And I was riding my bicycle to work and I just saw this dude standing up just riding along on the bicycle path and I saw him just for probably like three or four seconds and I was stunned. but. This was around, I think, two years ago. But I saw a couple reviews on electric unicycle and I always really wanted to test them out. But, but for sure, I was scared to like not be able to ride it. Uh, I guess every one of us that started uh, riding electric unicycles at some point had this fear. So later on, this channel started getting bigger and bigger and I got an opportunity from Cleverboard, uh, from Emil, and huge thanks to you. He, he said that, hey, Adam, I, I, have a I have a unicycle, you might test it out. And this is also the first review on the channel about electric unicycles, about the Emotion V10. This was a while ago, the channel was still in Polish and I still did not add subtitles to this video, so sorry. Anyhow, um, I've, I've learned to write it like okay uh, after around maybe two or three hours of uh, training. I can also link some videos in the description below that are pretty good at teaching you how to ride an electric unicycle. But after I figured out how it works, I was so stoked. And I think everyone is super stoked on riding uh, this device, especially like the first 100, 150 kilometers. It's just like a new world. Uh, so anyways, the V10 uh, was the first unicycle I rode. That's what I started with. I didn't buy it. I did get it for testing. And, in, and immediately after riding it for 300 kilometers, I sent it back to Emil and I bought myself a Inmotion V5F. Not the best decision because it broke a lot, uh, but this is all, all, only my model. There, there's just something wrong with it, but usually the V5Fs, not, like there's no issues with these unicycles at all. After a while, Emil sent me the Emotion V10 uh, back for, an, for a longer time and I rode 1200 kilometers on it. And then I bought uh, the Nikola after selling my pretty expensive guitar. Probably best decision in my life. Anyways, that's what got me hooked. You can also write your story in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear these stories and probably people watching this video as well. The point I'm trying to make is like, it's not important how you start. The, the, the point is that you start at all. So I suggest if you did not try an electric unicycle before, try it, but rent it for like, three hours at least, or maybe two, three days, because that's how long it takes to like get the mindsets of how this really works and how this method of transportation is awesome. You can spend a lot of time to like select unicycles and you know, browse the specs and so all that, but in the end, just choose anything because whilst you're thinking about choosing a new unicycle, you are not riding a unicycle and this is probably the most important message I wanted to share with you guys. But anyways, let's get into the guide. And before I get into the specifics of each like most popular brand, so Gotway, Kingsong, Emotion, I wanted to tell you more about the general like tendencies or general specs of all unicycles. And the most important thing probably is the tire and the tire size. So in my Galway Nicola, I have a three inch 
I have a three inch wide tire. This is a pretty wide tire. In its bigger wheels, Godway has this uh, three inch tire on. The thicker the tire, the better the maneuverability at low speeds. If you're going really slow, you like tight turns, you live in a city, a wider wheel will give you just so much more agility. That's why the Godway M10 III, like the smallest unicycle, there's also a review on the channel, you can check it out, is just so nimble. Uh, and the same thing applies to the Z10. It has a four inch wide tire. And, and when you ride this thing at low speeds, you can just turn around in, I don't know, like in this amount of space. It's ridiculous. But the downside of wide tires is that they are not so stable at higher speeds. So that's why the Ninebot Z10 with the four inch wide tire, even though it's like a huge wheel, 18 inches, um, has a lot of wobble and it just throws you in every direction when you're going fast. Uh, that's what H Slang, shout out to you, or Slang, <laughs> uh, shows in his videos. That's what like Ian from Speed of Feet will tell you. Going fast on wide wheels is not so comfortable. But, and here comes the next part of this whole like um, algorithm. The bigger, <laughs> the bigger the wheel, the more stable it is. So even though the Godway MSX and the Godway Nikola both have three inch wide tires, the MSX will be much, much more stable than the Godway Nikola because it has just a bigger diameter and yeah, that's just how it is. So again, in terms of wide wheels, very nimble when going slow, but when going fast, especially with smaller diameters, like Galway M10 III, that is like terrifying to go on pavement fast. Galway Nikola a bit less, but uh, still not as stable as for example, MSX. And let's not talk about like thinner wheels, like on Motion and on King Song wheels except for our 4016X. So what about the other side of the spectrum? Uh, uh, thinner tires. So if you were to ride the uh, Kingsong KS18XL, it has, I think, 2.1 to 5 wide tire, 2.25, I know, but it's way thinner than a three inch wide tire on the uh, whatever, Galway, blah, 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 or Kingsong 16X. So, if you have a thinner tire, the radius, the turning radius or the nimbleness at lower speeds will be a bit worse. So you have to tilt uh, the unicycle itself more to achieve the same turning radius. Uh, but when going fast, when going over rough terrain or having like, I just call it unevenness in the surface, uh, like longitudinal, <laughs> Longitudinal and even as in the surface. So just you're going on the street and it's suddenly like that and suddenly like that. Hopefully you get the point. Uh, that's where thinner tires, thinner wheels really shine because they won't change the direction you're heading in. When I was riding the Godway MCM5 and it has a 2.125 inch wide tire and I have a uh, bicycle path really close to my home and it's basically like this. <laughs> You're basically riding along in a ha half pipe. So when I'm riding the Galway MCM5, I can ride on, I can ride like 30 kilometers an hour, no stress at all. It won't even budge in, in any direction. But if I'm driving the Nikola, it's, it's a bit tricky. You know, you have to watch out a bit more just because of the width of the tire. So yeah. Uh, the thinner the tire, the more stable it is, going fast, going slow, but, but the more you also need to tilt the wheel itself to turn like at any speeds, because a wide wheel will also like stay upright even if you're turning. That's what you see on, in the videos about the Ninebot Z10. But you can also adjust how the electric unicycle behaves by changing the pressure. So lowering the pressure will make the unicycle 
way more stable it will be way more comfortable as well so if you do experience a lot of wobble and your unicycle is following like tram lines then you should probably lower the pressure but if you want to have bigger range and more like um, excitement then probably you should get higher get a higher tire pressure and also if you want to go uh, yeah upstairs downstairs better get a higher tire pressure okay but I think we got tire width tire type covered but but now we have to also talk about the uh, wheel size and at this point I also wanted to clear up a misconception uh, that uh, is arising in the unicycle world smaller wheels do not have more torque let me explain they might be easier to accelerate with and it might be easier to go uphill on a smaller wheel but as my tests suggest in the videos uh, link below for example the Galway MCM5 which supposedly is the best climbing wheel it just can't handle above 25 degrees for me it's and, and the problem is not that I can't like force it to go there it's the the it just gets overpowered it's yeah the, the the pedals keep tilting and it doesn't move forward and whereas the Galway Nikola 16 inch wheel can up go up to 35 degrees like without bigger issues as well as for example the um, what was it uh, the Emotion V8 as I have tested uh, in my test it's also linked below it could actually go up more than 25 degrees um, yeah so smaller wheels do not have uh, better torque what they do have is easier acceleration because they have less mass to push like outside of the wheel and they are most of the time lighter so if you move your body like in front of the wheel in order to accelerate you just need less mass or less uh, leverage to accelerate with the wheel so yeah i just wanted to clear that up but in terms of just the wheel size the bigger the wheel the more comfortable it will be on longer routes so msx way more comfortable than nikola also at higher speeds and it also adds to the equation about the width of the tire if you have a bigger wheel it will feel less torquey unless it's the msp which has a totally like different motor and it might overheat especially galway monster overheat hill msx as well um yeah that, that's the issue but that's only if you like go uphill a lot and you also need to take into account that the bigger the battery the less it will overheat as well so a kingsong 18l will overheat more than a kingsong 18xl i think the wheel size is like the easier thing to understand than the tire like width and thing in terms of performance uh, the bigger the motor actually the more torque it has maybe you need to work harder to get that torque get like more leverage more weight uh, like in front of the unicycle to accelerate the higher the voltage of the system so like 100 volt wheels will accelerate better will break better and will of course overheat less so yeah if you have a chance just get a 100 volt wheel so yeah with that said let's get into the specifics of like each of the most important brands so Gotway, Kingsong and uh, Emotion let's start with Emotion I think Emotion makes a great value wheels especially if you buy on AliExpress they tend to have really good electronics are like not very faulty especially the Emotion V8 they are correct wheels they have good range they're just very universal I have their pedals high off the ground it's really a good starter wheel like v8 v10 v5f you can't really go wrong with them they're also very safe they always have the tilt back i really like how they behave like the way you accelerate is that the pedals stay really like flat and you can really feel at which point you will overpower the wheel yeah, having the V5F ridden the V8, having the V10 for 1,200 yeah, kilometers or even more with the two, two times I had it, I can, say, I can tell you that it's like a really just good universal wheel. They tend to have narrow tires, but again, this is really comfortable. They're also really narrow 
themselves and have like great, great, great ergonomics. So yeah, in emotion you can't really go wrong with, with emotion. Uh, in terms of King Song, these are really like high range wheels. They also tend to be a bit more expensive than Godway and in motion. I have ridden the King Song 14D, the 16S, 18XL, 18L and the 16X. They're really well built, like from the inside the cables are routed well, they have like pretty good also quality assurance. Uh, you also see quite a bit of pictures in the internet from their factory, so that's pretty cool. They have really, really good ergonomics. They have these like super high uh, trolley handles, especially good for like taller people. Uh, they have huge range. The 84 volt range of King Songs tends to be bitter, bigger than on the Godways. So that's what is going for them as well. They have lighting front and rear, like most of them, not the 16X. They tend to have like good lighting on the side, like RGB, and also pretty narrow um, tires like uh, the Emotion wheels. What I don't like about them is that for like high performance, if you really push them, they can cut off. And I have seen that quite a bit of times with the 14D, especially if you're more, if you're a heavier person, you can accelerate too much and it can fall. And same thing with the 18L. I hear from a friend of mine, he has had like three or four cutoffs um, when accelerating hard, especially at a bit lower battery state, like 60%, 40%. Uh, not to mention the history you have the 16 axis uh, but I think they have sorted it out for now I know a friend of mine also had the 18 XL overpowered it and he's suffering for from the uh, uh, fall for, till now cheers to you Modo cheers to you yeah I also don't really like the way they um, accelerate so in, in motion wheels and on Godways, the, the foot plates stay totally like flat when you accelerate. You can accelerate as hard as you can and they might just still budge just a little bit. But on King Song wheels, if you even put them on the hard setting, they tend to just float around when you accelerate. And I'm not such a huge fan of that. And I really don't know at which point I might overpower them. And that's probably also the connection to the um, yeah, cutoffs. Yeah. Um, so anyways, King Song, Monsieur Flex uh, uses a King Song for 20,000 kilometers in his round trip. Uh, by the way, cheers to you, Monsieur Flex. <laughs> Hope everything is going well. Now, Galway. <laughs> Um, is the performance king. Like that's what you saw on the Kuji Rolls videos. That's, that's what you see the New York City crew using 100 volt wheels. That's the highest performance you can get. And for me, in my opinion also, uh, they, behave, they behave in the best way. So they stay like totally flat. They have insane uh, amounts of power, like the bigger wheels. And even in the smaller wheels, like the M10 III, the MCM5, you really can feel at which point you might overpower them. So you, it's, you have the power, you have the power, and whoop, okay, goes back. It doesn't cut off when accelerating hard or climbing very, very steep hills. And I had this situation a couple of times. I was racing a Dolce Thunder, and at 40 kilometers an hour, the, uh, the foot plate suddenly tilted really fast. And, but nothing happened. I had this situation like three, four times. So whilst accelerating hard, you won't get a cutoff. When you go really fast, test it top speed and you have the uh, tilt back off, well, yeah, it might turn off. But that's, um, yeah, that's the freedom that Godway gets you. In terms of uh, quality assurance, like not so good, especially the MSX, it's like, yeah, it's, the foot plates aren't as good or like as, nimble as on the uh, Nikola. Um, yeah, the panels are not so well aligned, in, especially in the older versions, but it keeps getting better and better. And again, these are things that I don't mind too much. And I mean, it's the same thing like with the first Teslas, like the alignment of the doors and sort of, even if you have like mal-aligned foot plates, it's just, it just doesn't matter uh, for the most part. 
yeah so that's what is not so good about godway they also have a different uh, design how the um, wheel is mounted to the frame of the um, unicycle you have to tighten tighten these from uh, from time to time oh the lug nuts yeah especially in godway monsters that's what slang has uh, has a, has an issue about in, in his video in his godway monster and in terms of like mounting the unicycle to the wheel it's better on the king song and in motion that's what i tend to hear but I did not have to tighten the lug nuts on the Nicolo like for one single time and I have 5,400 kilometers of, on it so yeah. No issues there as well. Cable routing not the best in uh, Godway wheels, they, all, they seem to be like a mess inside but from statistics of e-wheels the Godway MSX is also the most robust reliable wheel so that's what they have going for them as well. By the way, uh, Galway Nicola review after 5000 kilometers is coming up, but I wanted to make it a bit more special. I want to test out uh, what is the battery degra degradation and I'm still waiting for a company to get the right uh, machine for it, but it should be here anytime. So yeah, that's what's special about these three companies. Wait, sorry, I forgot about Ninebot. Sorry for that. Uh, Ninebot Z10. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Ah, yeah, that hurts, right? <laughs> Ninebot Z10s, uh, especially from the first batches, uh, had a lot of issues um, in terms of the motherboard just frying. I don't know how it's now. I heard that it's better, but yeah. Uh, the, Galway, the, the Ninebot Z10, you should not overpower it like accelerate too hard or climb too steep hills because it might just fry the motherboard yeah not 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 too good but it's the best looking wheel than i bought z10 right uh, i i can't say that i mean my my unicycle looks like a roomba but there is no unicycle that looks better than the nine bot z10 or z6 in that regard uh, nine bots are pretty good overall like I have not too much experience in the C plus or S2 I just heard that they are fine probably they're just like uh, emotional wheels in this regard uh, I had a bit more experience with the Ninebot Z10 I love the wheel love the tubeless tire um, very specific and like very different from every other wheel because of the fat tire um, but yeah, quality assurance is really good there. Actually, the wheels come out like every wheel is totally the same. But yeah, uh, the, the technology is just at this point of time a bit unantiquated. The, the system there is just 58 volts. Yeah, 58 volts, I think, nominal voltage. So yeah, in comparison to 100 volt wheels, which we have now, it's like pretty bad. Range is also not too good because it's just 1000 watt hours. So it's the same as the Inmotion V10, but most of the time it's quite a bit more expensive than the Inmotion V10. Um, so yeah, in terms of Ninebot, super cool look design, like not good electronics, especially in the Z10. I think the other ones are pretty good. Uh, yeah, but you also might comment your opinions about that. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, I think that these were sort of the most important things to keep in mind. The other things are just features and it's like, and it's pretty easy to select a unicycle just based on features. Like, does it have a Bluetooth speaker? Yes, no. I have to, I have to have a Bluetooth speaker, so I have it in the Nikola. Bluetooth speakers are pretty good and every unicycle in one is better and one is worse but you can also always like get a Bluetooth speaker on your backpack I know it's not as comfortable but you can do it um, on the Nikola it's good on the all the new Godway wheels also have good speakers King songs tends to have good speakers as well Emotion V10 speakers nah not not too good uh, in 9 bot Z10 speakers a bit better lighting is also pretty easy uh, King songs have the I wanted to say the best lighting but now the Galway MSP has the best light in terms of like brightness and so on but most of the time uh, King songs have the best lighting because it's also like um, shaped in a way like the car lights are so it doesn't blind pedestrians too much Galway's blind pedestrians quite a bit especially the MSP the Nikola light is like good 
it's better than on the 9VZ10 and on the Inmotion. Inmotion, in terms of front lighting, have probably the worst light, yeah. Of the high performance wheels, yeah, that, that's what I wanted to add. Um, so yeah, in terms of shells, pretty much everything is a, across the board more or less the same. The best is the 9VZ10. The MSX is pretty good, or MSP, but now it might fall on one edge and get like obliterated. Good to have a round wheel so it can, you know, spin around when it's falling, but yeah, most of the time I think the, like, the robustness is pretty good. The one is better in this regard, the other one is better in this regard, so yeah. In terms of side lights, I think side lights are quite important actually. And yeah, you can see them everywhere, so there's like nothing to, to talk about. Foot plates, the bigger the better, you can exchange the grip tape, so, so whatever is in here is good. Um, yeah, just get always the bigger foot plates, it's really simple, but for example on the MSX, if you don't get the bigger ones, you can just mount them later. Takes a bit of DIY, but you can do it. So. All these things that I'm talking about now, the features are like not as important. In terms of brake lights, most of the unicycles have it. If they don't have it, you can mount an additional light here. Again, it's like not such a huge deal. Uh, in terms of trolley handles, uh, best ones on the King Songs. So if you do really need to like to trolley the thing that your wheel around a lot, this is a thing that is not so easy to change. So yeah, best on King Songs and very very good on In Motions, but in a bit different way because they have this kind of um, yeah mechanism. So it's a bit easier to get out. I know In Motion and um, King Song all in all have really good trolley handles. Yeah. Uh, in terms of Galway, yeah, I think the Nikola has a pretty good um, trolley handle, but it's not like too tall, too high up. Um, but again, these are all things that you can get used to, unless you really need, really like, really need a good trolley handle, like this is not as important. Side pads, the same thing, not as important, you can change them, so yeah. All, all the features I was talking about now is like meh. And it's just an add-on. It's nice to have. If you really need it, then you can consider it. But if you don't, then whatever. Uh, one more thing might be also the carrying handle and lift sensor. Now the lift sensor is pretty comfortable. Should be on every wheel. But I don't think it's, it's like as much of a deal breaker. Uh, the Nikola is pretty okay for carrying if you just carry it with four fingers. <laughs> yeah. So carrying the wheel just depends on the weight and uh, on the width actually of the of the wheel. Uh, I, I think you can see in the video pretty clear, clearly of every wheel how well it is, like how easy it is to carry. Naturally, the bigger the battery, the bigger the range, and the bigger the wheel, like diameter, the bigger the range as well. So yeah guys, if this video helped you at all, and I hope it did, it wasn't too confusing, then leave a massive like on it, uh, share it to someone uh, who is like deciding now to get a, a unicycle. And if you're still here, leave a like again, uh, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.